Hello, welcome to my tutorial. I'm going to strip and repair a noisy Eco ALC2. I would imagine you could apply this to the 1 and 3 versions of the Eco Coolit system as well. Remove the 8 screws, holding the copper heat sink down, and that can be removed. Remove the coolant also at this stage. Um, I wore gloves because I'm not really sure what it is. So it could be quite nasty. Two screws on the side release the CPU um, bracket, I suppose. Dead easy to remove. You can also remove the, the plate now covering the PCB. Also be quite careful with radiator fins at this stage. Don't want to cause any damage. Now to remove the pipes. The pipes are rotary couplings. Um, you need a pin punch to remove them. This is a standard pin punch set, but the smallest one is still way too big. So I used a piece of mild steel rod, about one and a half millimeters in diameter, just to knock the pin out, which holds the coupling. It's really easy to do. Once you start the pin uh, moving, just uh, get ready to catch it at the bottom. Both of them come out the same way. I'm actually pointing out the, the temperature sensor inside the CPU block here. Now because I don't know what um, liquid was used in this, I'm just giving it a flush out with just normal tap water. This is just to remove any nasties or such like. At this stage as well, I would advise you to remove the fan. I keep it on earlier on because it protects that side of the radiator. But remove it now because we're going to be submerging it underwater. And the less electrical systems we put underwater, the better. I use a basin here, but you could just use a standard tap just to get the, the liquid off the, the radiator. Also now, um, that's a silicon spray over the PCB. That goes dry, so it's to protect it when it's underwater. Actually, I changed this water for deionized water now, and I'm adding some iodine. Now, the iodine will be sucked through the pump, and this is to stop any bacteria or nasties growing. I've also added a small amount of fairy liquid. This is to increase the surface tension and help remove bubbles in the system. What to do now is remove on the hose on the suction side of the pump. On the Cooler Eco ALC2, it's the center hose, not the one that's offset. So once you've got that off, submerge everything underwater and switch power on. The system should now be removing air uh, quite easily. As long as you keep the pump underwater, it shouldn't draw any more air. But if you drop, lift the pump above the water, you'll have to remove that air again because it will draw in air. As you can see here, the pump's uh, it's not a high flow pump, it's about 150 litres per minute. But you don't need much in a water cooled system. Once you're at the stage now where you've got all the air out, you can put the, the actual coupling back into the pump unit itself. Once that's done, pop the pin back into the coupling. Be careful not to hit the copper plate. And that's your finished. Just remove it from the water. Allow it to dry and then stick the last couple of covers back on and you're good to go. Because you've used deionized water, it shouldn't conduct either if there's a leak. Any questions, feel free to ask. 